Frank Smith. I don't like this at all. How long has Luke been gone? Not the night before last. Slipped out while I was sleeping. I guess I should be grateful that he left me a note. I just wring his neck. Well, has he called yet? No. He told me that I shouldn't expect to hear from him until it was over. He also said that I shouldn't try to find him. So what am I supposed to do, you know? Just go on with my days and pretend that my husband isn't hundreds of miles away, facing down a mortal enemy? Well, you sound more angry than worried. I don't know whether to be relieved or concerned about that, Laura. I'm trying not to be. Because I know Luke, and I know why he chose to do it this way. He wants it to be over with Frank Smith once and for all, without jeopardizing me or the children. I don't blame him for that. I, I really don't. It's just... What? What? It's my battle, too. I thought you and Luke had made whatever peace was possible about this vendetta with Frank Smith. Oh, we had. But the man just never stops. You see, that's what it's been like for the last 11 years. He never stops. And it's supposed to be over. A sort of uh, an uneasy truce, I suppose you could call it. And then, lo and behold, we find out that Frank Smith's muscle is behind Boland's intimidation tactics. Maybe because of Frank Smith, I nearly lost my child. Justice nearly lost his life. And then he turns around and... And he frames Luke for Boland's murder. I mean, it's insane. When is enough going to be enough? Laura, I, I want to ask you something. Do you think Luke would actually kill Frank Smith? Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to say that you don't have reason to... Oh, better reason than you realize. Because if Frank had had his way, Luke and Lucky and I would have been dead years ago. Did you hear what I said? Lucky. He would have killed a child, maybe. He tried to. He did. When we were in British Columbia, we had a friend. The sweetest, dearest, most innocent man. And he got into our truck one evening, a truck that was supposed to have contained me and Luke and our son. And it exploded. It was a bomb. That was just one casualty. The latest was Bill Eckert. Sly's father? Yes. And Luke's cousin, he took a bullet that was intended for Luke right here in Port Charles, down in the catacombs. I mean, that was like our welcome home present. It just has to stop. Oh. I knew it was bad. But I tell you, this is sad, sad, sad history. Yes, that's why I don't want it hounding us anymore. And I don't want it to affect my brand new daughter. I don't want her to have to live under that threat. I know that Luke is going to end it, maybe. I know he is. And I should be there with him. And I'm not. No, no Luke is doing the right thing. You're right where you belong, here with your children. What if he needs me? He'll be all right. Yes, you're right, you're right. He will be all right.
the anger out of the way. Now shall we move on to the fear? I think right now somebody wants their mommy's attention. that my daughter's going to grow up not knowing her father. Oh. Laura, Luke wouldn't give Frank Smith that kind of victory. Hold on to your faith or your anger. Whatever it is that keeps you with him across the miles. That's the stuff of answered prayers. That's what makes miracles. I have to tell you that. No. I guess he needed to remind me. Yes. Thank you. I missed you. Oh. I missed you so much. Honey, I missed you too. Now let me see this baby. Mm. Let me see this baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi. Take me that for my sleep. Go on back to sleep. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, mm, Pretty baby. Appropriate place to meet, Frank. Spencer! Hey, 